for a second because okay. we get, right because we get a bad rap about being manipulative we've been talking about this and I wanted to you know bring this out in the open because we you know you we get accused of manipulating you into cooperating with us and getting to our side but 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 men have a little bit of sneaky snacks too sneaky snacks Yes. What's a sneaky snack? Because men, this is a real survey. Men have the tendency. She has to say a real survey because she'd be making up stuff. <laughs> Don't try. No, 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 no. no. Yeah. Men have a tendency to, to just mirror our emotional response. Ooh, that's real sneaky. No. That's called survival technique, OK? <laughs> that's what that is. I can explain that right away. Why? Why do you do that? Like if I, because. We want to skip right to happy life, happy wife. <laughs> so, yeah, uh, yeah, that's right. We don't, we don't want to argue. See, we pick our battles. You want to fight every single one. <laughs> we just want to get to the root of the problem. Yeah, I know, but, but we're not interested in that. We want you to be happy so we can be happy. Well, look. Like, like, like dressing rooms, OK, when we go shopping with you, when you force us to go shopping with you. Yeah. And when a dressing room, you come out and you wear a dress that looks like this, and yes. you go, baby, you like this dress? What are we going to say? Yes. Yeah. Yes, of course. I don't care what the dress looks like. <laughs> We're going to be, that looks beautiful, babe. Oh, my god, that dress is so amazing. Because we want to skip right through, let's get out of this mall, and let's go and have fun, and let's be happy, and happy wife, happy life. That's what we do. So it's survival techniques. It's not that we're trying to be schemy or anything. We know. We can tell when you're making up stuff. No, we on. do. No. Yes, we do. No. Survival <laughs> techniques are inherent. They're in our <laughs> DNA. Right, guys? Yes. You know what I'm talking about. My, my eight-year-old son knows those survival techniques already. Yeah. How He's so? eight years old. Nicole, uh, OK, for instance, she came home the other day. <laughs> and we were all in the kitchen. And she walked up. And, and Nicholas looked at her. That was this past weekend. Yes, yes. I and, remember. And I know what you're going to tell. She was in a not so nice mood. Let's put it not true. nicely. Not true. She was in a little funky mood, no. which happens to you ladies sometimes. <laughs> and Nicholas, our eight-year-old, he immediately understood what was going on. And he runs over to his mother and gives her a big hug and goes, Mommy, your hair looks so beautiful. <laughs> Eight years old, mind you. Yeah. Yeah. Survival techniques, America. Survival techniques. Which one's my camera? Because I want to make sure that America <laughs> understands that oh, this is Lord. lies coming out of his mouth. <laughs> Listen, how many of us here spend four hours? Yesterday, I had full-on twists in my hair. I spent four hours taking them out, and then another four hours blow-drying and curling, and then got caught in the rain, then came home, walked in the house. The only one who noticed, A, that I had been gone for eight hours, <laughs> and B, I look completely different was my eight-year-old son. Let's come give on. it up for Nicholas. Oh, come on, baby. Yeah, he I loves his this. mama. No, you didn't. None of y'all know this, except my son. Come I'm not on, jealous. Man. I'm not jealous. Oh, my God. Speaking of crazy jealousy, did you have you heard about Ashley Madison? Oh. The, you know, the dating site where you can be married and then you can find... Yeah. Someone has hacked into the website. Y yes. There's like, how many people? There's like 37 million You're about names. to be put on blast, people. <laughs> 37 million cheaters. Yes. Ooh. It's going to be interesting. This is huge. Yeah. I mean, I mean, <laughs> you know, but men and women are different about infidelity. Like, there's the, there's the actual physical infidelity, and then there's emotional infidelity, right? Which one do you care more about? <laughs> <laughs> clearly, it's sexual infidelity. Yeah? Yeah. Just... Oh, emotionally? What does it mean? <laughs> 
Guys, what? Guys, you're with me, right? We don't care about that. I mean, oh my God, look at you over there. You, you are emotionally cheating on me. <laughs> no. no. I remember I got, I don't really get that jealous anymore. I mean, I never really was jealous. I mean, I met him with women screaming at him, like, ah! That's how they scream? Yeah. <laughs> right? I, don't I mean, that. come on, well, how can I be mad, right? No, it, well, you know what? It depends on whether you're dating or married. Because when you're dating, I understand jealousy because you want to hold on to each other, you want to smush each other and kiss and make out. And if, and if she just leaves you like two feet, you're like, no, come back. Oh. <laughs> when you're married, two kids, a dog, mortgage, pfft, that changes. <laughs> That changed it so quick. Go. <laughs> it's not, it's, go, get oh, out of here. Come on, no, but I changes. think I was pretty confident. I never, I think I'm confident for two reasons. Number one, I think I had a good dad. We were talk, we've been talking about dads on this show, right? Dads with their daughters. Give it up for the dads. Yeah, give it up for the dads. I have a great mother, too. But my mother taught me how to carry myself. And my father let me know, even though they weren't together, that I was loved. And so I, I met him as an adult. And I think that I just was. I was together. Confident. I was, yeah. yeah. And number two, I have to give it up to him, ladies. He doesn't act weird. Because you can even meet a confident woman, right? And then turn her into a nutcase. Yeah. Because, <laughs> yes, men out there, yes, we start off really together. And then all of a sudden, you guys start texting weird and doing weird oh. stuff with the phone. And, uh, <laughs> what was that? Uh, the weird what stuff with the phone. <laughs> I that mean, was weird. It was weird. And you didn't do that, and I appreciate no. you for that. Oh, you're welcome. I do. Well, you know, it's, it's interesting because a lot of women, you're speaking of confidence, yep. a lot of women say that, that being confident is actually a turn-off for men. Oh, really? Confident women are a turn-off yeah, for men. Yeah, we, we, we've been told that, that, all the that time, if we're you know, too strong. Too intimidating, too strong. Let me, yeah. let me just tell you, where's my camera? <laughs> Listen here, America. Listen here, ladies of America. Confidence is a beautiful thing. Okay? So, if the person you're dating has an issue with your confidence or is insecure because of your confidence, you need to find yourself a real man. Okay? Because there's nothing more beautiful than a confident woman. And that's the truth. Well, you know what's great is that I can admit something. I did. I, when, okay, when you're in a long-term relationship, you do get a little jealous over little things, right? Yeah. Not the big things. So I, we were at a barbecue one time, and you know we separate and we socialize, and somehow I couldn't find him, and I look, oh, there he is. And he was talking to a very lovely woman, but it wasn't the talking, it was the fact that he was laughing at everything she was saying. <laughs> <laughs> he was like, that, that right there. <laughs> I didn't so just funny. get jealous, okay? I walked over there and just gave him a huge kiss right in the middle of their conversation. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You know, that, that reminds me of an article that I came across uh, that said half the world... Oh, this is crazy. ...doesn't even like the kiss. Anymore, yeah. 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 The, the, I mean, 46%... Do you guys not like to kiss anymore? Oh, no. Kiss, 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 kiss. There you go. Oh, Ooh, look at kissing. her. Okay, She's okay. Like, here at the boys in the show, we like to kiss. <laughs> Yes, sir. Feeling better already. Well, anyway, so they found that, that just three of ten European cultures uh, uh, saw kissing as an acceptable form of showing romantic affection. Well, you're from Europe. Like, what? you have a little lipstick. What, does, uh, what do they do? In, do they not kiss in Germany? Well, we, we kiss. Um, you like, hello. No, no, we kiss to say hello. We kiss <laughs> left cheek, right cheek yeah. to say hello. Yes. Right, okay. And, um, yeah, there's, there's a lot of kissing going on in Germany. You know, some ancient cultures, you know, kissing is like 3,500 years old, like being depicted in paintings and stuff. And there are cultures that say, you know, uh, that by kissing someone, you can inhale their soul. What? Yeah. Yep. Well, different cultures, different customs, but uh, inhale your soul? Yeah. Th that's... I don't know how much of my soul I donated in college then. <laughs> <laughs> my soul's gone. I'm sorry. It's <laughs> My soul is out the window. <laughs> You're just a shell of a man. <laughs> uh, I was soul sucked dry. <laughs> okay, okay, with sorry. the details. No, I'm sorry. Wait, easy, easy. I, I, I apologize. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, in college, there, there's a story about this girl who blew away $90,000. Have you guys read about this? Of her college money, yeah. Her grandparents left her a trust fund. 
Yeah, and she blew, she's our junior, and she has, uh, she doesn't even have the $20,000 tuition balance left. I know. This is what she said. Uh, she called into an Atlanta radio station and she said, quote, um, I have, uh, you know, I just can't get a job because getting a job is embarrassing. What? Yeah. Maybe my parents should have taught me budget or something. They never sat me down and had a real serious talk about it. My parents said there was nothing they could do for me now. And see, they're not being honest with me, saying they don't have money, because my dad has worked for like a million years. <laughs> and they have a retirement account. I can't even, I can't even. Uh, my parents scraped just, and scrambled and scruffed to get me to college. I love you, Mom and Dad. I really do. You know what I don't like about Daddy. this? It's, it's, it's two things. Number one. She's disrespecting her parents and grandparents who are paying for a college tuition. And number two, it's a sense of entitlement that I can't stand. Yeah. And unfortunately, a lot of young folks, and I, I hate it when I was young, people say, yeah, those young folks. And now I'm that person. <laughs> yes. Those young folks with a sense well, of entitlement. This is a young girl that I love, and I really want to talk about her today. Her name is Erica Shank. She's 18 years old. She's a curvy model who's getting thumbs up for her new photo on the cover of Running Magazine. Do we have a picture? Look at her. Beautiful. There you go. Nice. That's a great picture. That's a beautiful She's picture. showing off gear for women with curvy or frame. She's gotten a lot of positive response because I love the fact that the health industry, that people are taking a stand because the health industry has made it all about weight loss. And really, it's just about quality of life. Health. Yes. And she's gotten strong. a lot of positive response to the media. I just want to give you a shout out, Erica. Erica, kudos. Yes. Kudos to Erica. Uh, speaking of curvy, uh, Instagram has a lot of people stirred up because um, now they decided to ban or block the use of the hashtag curvy because oh, yeah. Yeah. a lot of users have used it to they describe. They completely blocked it or something. You know, those services. Soliciting, soliciting sexual favors with yeah. the, and there's all these codes on Instagram, but the way they're getting around it is hashtag curvy that lets you know, go to my site. So now, hashtag call me for sex. <laughs> <laughs> but now people are spelling it differently, like C-U-R-V-E-E. -E. Like they're just trying to get around it. You somehow. end up blocking everything. There's so much craziness in the world. What can you do? <laughs> I don't know. But laugh. Let's laugh. <laughs> Let's laugh! <laughs> Best, let's see your best laugh. My best laugh? You know, they say laughing is actually good for you. Like, it lowers your know, blood it's pressure. Workout. It's a workout. Let's burn some calories, people. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you move, because no, when we go no back, fake laughing. we're going to be laughing. Gina Hall, and I am up next on the Boys and the Cold Show. Please stay tuned. Our first guest has made us laugh for years. You can catch her in the highly anticipated remake, Vacation, and in her upcoming film, People, Places, Things. Put your hands together for the talented Miss Regina Hall. posted a picture of yourself on Instagram with the Dalai Lama, okay? Oh, I did. Yes. Wow. I did. Look at this. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, look at the light coming over for the, the back you lighting. Know, Regina's the friend you want to go to the event with because she gets to the front of the line and meets <laughs> the Dalai Lama. How did you do that? Do you want to know what happened about that day? It was so great. I got asked to be on a panel. I don't know why I got asked to be on the panel. <laughs> But I literally used to pray to meet the Dalai Lama. I'd say, God, I want to meet the Dalai Lama. I went and bought his book. I was going through a breakup. You all know it's. Yeah. <laughs> I, I was praying to meet Jesus or somebody. So I, I um, had read his book and Which I one, loved happiness? it. Um, Freedom in Exile. Okay. So 
I was like, of course I'll do the panel. But then on the panel, I was supposed to ask some like really amazing question. And all I could do was say, can I squeeze you? <laughs> it's all that came out. Hold on a second. You asked the Dalai Lama if you could squeeze him? Because I told him? him that I felt like he was maybe supposed to be my husband. He had all the traits. <laughs> At he which has, point did security jump in and, and well, remove you? Well, thank goodness he's filled with love and compassion. <laughs> so he um, asked me to have, have uh, we had lunch no. at, to sit at the table. So that was actually at the lunch table. Now, uh, Regina, we know you're very close with your mother. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, she said that she doesn't like watching you in, in, on film. She doesn't like watching your movies. She, you know what, she doesn't like anything scary. That's first of all. But no, she, I, when I did about last night, she couldn't watch the love scene. Oh, it's still hard for her. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> I mean, that's how I got here. But yeah, she's very uncomfortable watching the love scenes. Well, you, I, I, I have a hard time watching Nicole. her love scenes. You, you do? have like a thousand more love scenes than I have. <laughs> Showers and he baby said, oil. Well, because we want to see him naked. Yes. Okay, but you have, you are a mommy. You have a fur baby. I have a fur baby. A little doggy named yes, Zeus. Do I we do. have a picture there? There he is. Ooh. Why are you so fly even walking the dog? Like I, We were at the World Dog Awards. We oh. presented. Excuse me? That's why we're coordinating. Hold on. You can't just skip over that. What was that? The World? Well, there's the World Dog Awards for what dogs are doing around the world. You know, there was a dog that, that could detect when, no, there's a dog that could literally detect when the the son, they had a young son, um, was about to go have a. Um, Caesar? No, he had diabetes when his insulin Sugar. would drop. Yes. Oh, oh yeah, I believe that. And he that. saved his life. So, I mean, these were dogs that were doing great, great things. I mean, not Zeus, but. <laughs> <laughs> By any stretch. He was there. You were just the fabulous <laughs> mommy with <laughs> Zeus. Yeah, he just walked on the stage, but it was wow. great. Do you think you and Zeus are going to maybe find a daddy, a Zeus daddy? So, yeah, yeah, Zeus. Zeus Acts, when he sees guys, he has that, will you be my daddy behavior. <laughs> now he's like, oh, please be my dad. He, I mean, <laughs> it's, it's, it's embarrassing. It's embarrassing. But um, it would be nice. We'd like to add to our family. Oh. Yeah. Do you Maybe. see yourself getting married? Uh, well, I do. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's so all that matters. We just need the counterpart who has the same vision, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I do. I do. I feel it. I actually feel it. Mm -hmm. I, I go you know on what? I feeling. think I sense a proposal coming. <laughs> oh, oh, From who, though? I don't know. I don't think, okay, okay. Well, you've got a new movie coming out called People, Places, and Things. And we want you to tell us about it. But you know, when, when you talk about your okay. projects here, you've got to do it in six seconds okay. in a Vine okay. video. Okay. Right okay. to that camera, right here. Go. Okay. Um, it comes out August 14th. Jermaine Clement. It's smart, funny, um, 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 um. Sexy, crazy. <laughs> that was great. <laughs> it was hard. That was very good. That's all right. Okay. okay. No, that's all yeah, right. I mean, six seconds is short. So, so your co-star is my co-star is Jermaine Clement. That's right. And he is actually from New Zealand, and he's he was a star of Flight of the Concord. That's mm -hmm. right. And he's really he's quite lovely and charming, and it's kind of the story of a man. Of a breakup from a man's point of view, yes. and 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 kind of how they dissolve. And, Who do you think gets over the breakups better, men or women? Well, I have I have a, a, a theory on this. I think initially men, because right. they go out, they either drink or party re or rebound, party, mm -hmm. have sex with one person a lot or a lot of people once, <laughs> and then. <laughs> And that's, then that's we cool. are home crying. Yes. We're talking to our friends. Yes. We're actually healing. Yes. A year later, they come back. <laughs> and you're like, who is this? Totally. Yes. We and, 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 and we, yes. And, and then, then they, they come. come back and then they start their process of healing, pain. Mm -hmm. So they have like a delayed you reaction. You know, we need more of these theories. You need to stick around because more with this brilliant Regina Hall when we come back. <laughs> years, but you got a degree in journalism from NYU. Yes. And, and what were your career plans after graduation? Well, I thought I was going to do, like, produce, you know, news packages and segments. 
Oh. You thought you were going to be like a news anchor, yeah. like full yeah, on. Yeah, yeah, full on. Well, wow. okay, well, we thought we'll uh, put your little uh, journalism uh, <laughs> to a test <laughs> in a game we like to call Tell It Like It Is. All right. <laughs> So you're the call, our call anchors reporting on the news, and as you're watching the action on the monitor, you will both report together, but there's a hook. While you both are reporting, I will read out a card with a specific style that you have to adopt. Oh, okay. okay. While All speaking, right. are you ready? Okay. All right. Good luck. <laughs> Regina, Okay. you are drunk. <laughs> Nicole, you are from the South. And rolling. Hi, y'all. Welcome to the RNN show in the morning. Hi. There's a breaking story, and I reckon y'all want to hear about it. And I'm fixing to tell you about it. It turns out that a man has found a new species of reptiles. Or do you want to focus on and, and help me out here with the I'm reptiles? sorry. I couldn't. Uh, I love uh, tiles. My whole kitchen <laughs> is in tiles. No, 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 honey. What I'm saying is that a man has discovered some snakes and some crocodiles and a whole and some oh iguanas. My. Whole in the tiles? Of... Are they in the tiles? <laughs> no. Yes. Yeah. They're they're reptiles. Oh. 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 <laughs> Great. <laughs> okay, let's move on to the next one. All right, I'm ready. <laughs> All right. Regina, hmm. you are extremely sad. Okay. Nicole, you are extremely happy. Okay. 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 And okay. go. Now let's move on to the weather. It looks like it is so sunny in California. Oh my God. And we are in a change for our forecast. Last one yes. is Regina. You are a poet. Oh. Nicole, you are an opera singer. <laughs> Go. Mm. Mm. Sports. <laughs> when he swings the bat and he dunks the ball. When he dunks those balls into the treasure that is mine. <laughs> Give it up for the ladies. We want to thank our friend Regina Hall for stopping by. You can catch her in vacation in theaters July 29th and people play for things out of August 14th. We'll be right back. singles need a little guidance from above when it comes to matters of the heart. Oh, yeah. That's why we've called in a matchmaking minister. Please welcome from Peaches, Preachers of L.A., Pastor Wayne Cheney. <laughs> Thanks so much for having me. Yeah, thank Thanks you for being, for being here. So why do you think that, you know, women say they have a hard time finding a good man to date, from your perspective? Well, I think there are a few uh, different vantage points, a few ways you can attack that. Obviously, they're just sociological issues. Uh, there are more women than men, first of all. Okay. But we're finding women are progressive, they're strong, they're growing in their education as well as their political field. Men, generally speaking, have kind of stabilized. And so if women are looking for men in their field, on their area of expertise, it makes it a little bit more difficult. Then, the other issue is just, you know, they're non-negotiables as it relates to your standard. But, but some things we have to ease up off our, off our standard uh, uh, for. Mm -hmm. Everyone's really? not going to have a six foot five Boris, you may have to settle for a six foot <laughs> Boris, you know what I mean? <laughs> I'd settle for you if you were six feet tall. Uh, yeah. But not 5'11", not 5'11". <laughs> she wouldn't go one inch shorter. <laughs> okay, what are some of the questions women should ask men oh, this is good. 
before yeah. they begin a relationship? I think there are a few bullet points, four bullet points you should hit. The first of, first, first yeah, Deb, make sure you take write notes. Write it down, on this write it down, one. ladies. Right. It, it is selflessness. I think you need to look for selfness, wow. selflessness, number one. Um, obviously, we all have a little narcissism in us, mm -hmm. uh, but someone who is willing to inconvenience themselves for the object of their affection or to convenience them is worth taking a look at. Mm -hmm. Secondly, I think there needs to be relational architecture considered. Uh, we fall in love with the individual, but I think it's important to look at the five closest people to them because those are the peripheral influences mm -hmm. on their life. It may His not mama? Be... Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. His daddy? Yes. Maybe he has kids? Absolutely. And an ex? Ex, but also baby mama or best friend. Yeah, best friend. And like to turn up a little bit more than he does. Yes, yeah. his closest friend companion. Yes, those absolutely. are good. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, because that's his support system. Absolutely. And so then, beyond those things, I think a major issue is really the issue of self-government. What does that look like? Mm -hmm. You know, good uh, nations are built on great government. Bad nations fall apart because there's poor government. The question is. What governs your life and decisions? If it's your emotion, as it relates toward, uh, again, whether it's your spouse or someone in your relationship with, uh, you, you, that can be tested. When you're not seeing eye to eye, then you may go looking for someone else. Mm -hmm. There has to be something that governs you outside of your emotions or even physical attraction. And uh, while both of you, uh, I'm sure, know you're attractive and you've uh, uh, been celebrated by the opposite sex, um, there are beautiful people out there. There's no end to the making of beautiful people. You've got to be governed. I ask questions like, uh, who can tell you no? Mm -hmm. There's some people that don't respect anyone's opinion, and eventually they won't respect yours. The final thing is uh, grind. You just want to sense a little bit of grind in the individual. Yes. Not just as it relates to finances. Yes! Yeah. 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 Because you know why I yeah. always say this? Life is going to happen. Absolutely. You're going to have ups and downs. And is this somebody, you have to look at that person and say, is this somebody who can grind with me? Absolutely. And get in that hustle with me when the you know what hits the fan. <laughs> right, right. Right? Right. Yes, I love yeah, that we yeah. brought you on, Pastor, because well, you were just laying it down and telling the truth. I appreciate it. We have a single lady here <laughs> in ah. need of Pastor Wayne's matchmaking skills. Please welcome Jessica. <laughs> Thank you for joining us, Jessica. Thank you for having me. Yes. Nice. So what's your biggest challenge in finding a mate? Um, well, I've kind of found that in L.A., guys aren't very forward in person. They oh. can be very forward in maybe a dating app, but in person, I just don't feel like... Hmm. This is the new dilemma. She yeah. said a dating yeah. app. Yeah. So you'll get a whole lot of conversation in the text oh, message, yes. but then you get face to face and there's the communication is the yeah. breakdown. I mean, who is to blame but ourselves because we've so degenerated so much that now we don't even know how to have a conversation. With emojis. We're no, we just <laughs> type it away. <laughs> You know, well, you've pulled together a pool of eligible men. Absolutely. You've also said that you're interested in getting some guidance from of course. someone of faith yep. and having a spiritual base. Mm -hmm. So let's do this. Let's yeah. do it. Yes. Come on out, bachelors. There you are. And what do you do, Keith? I am actually an area superintendent in Los Angeles Unified School District at the tail end of completing my dissertation. Wow, wow. I don't know what that means, but it sounds <laughs> incredible. <laughs> no. Sir, what about you? What's your name? I'm um, Corey Lofgren. Nice to meet you, Corey. And what do you do? I'm a firefighter paramedic. <laughs> and you, sir? My name's Andrew, and I'm a graduate from the University of Texas at Austin. Got my engineering degree there. Yeah. All right. There you go. All right. All right. Awesome. What's your name, sir? I'm Rob Thrash. And what do you do, Rob? I work in operations at a ministry in Long Beach. Oh. Thank you, Rob. All right. Okay, well, we set up an area for you, Jessica, to see which one of these guys we're going to speed date with you a little bit and see which ones you might actually connect and go on a date with. Okay. So, Pastor Wayne is going to be helping her every step of the way, and we're going to check in with him later on during the show. Off you go. Have fun, guys. Thank you. We'll be right back with Tia Mori Hardrick. Hi guys, what's up? I'm Tia Mori Hardrick and I am up next on the Boris and Nicole Show.
Welcome back. Before the break, we sent our bachelorette, Jessica, outside for many dates with four bachelors. Pastor Wayne, how's it going out there? It's going great. Wonderful kickoff. We have four of the most eligible bachelors in Los Angeles, and I think Jessica really knows what she's after. Yes, I do. All right, well, Absolutely. have fun. We'll check back in with them at the end of the show. Our next guest is actress, author, and mom, and she's about to return as Melanie Barnett for the series finale of BET's The Game. Take a look. You had me up in her face asking her for an autograph, looking like a damn fool! Yet this whole time you were sleeping with her? See, Mel, ain't nobody say anything about sleeping with nobody, baby. Jerwin, you look me in the face right now and tell me you didn't sleep with her. No. So I wouldn't do that to you. Whoa. Please, Please welcome, welcome Tia Maury Hardwick! <laughs> posted a picture on Instagram from the set of the season finale of yeah. the game. How did it feel shooting oh this last episode? There's Look Coochie. You. We have it right here. Look. Oh, yeah. Um, wow. It felt great. You know, I, I, it's been like four years since the last time I kind of, you know, stepped into that character. Yeah. And it was basically like riding a bike. It was just so much fun. It was wow. great. Yeah. <laughs> well, you, you, yeah. you're in a lot of fun. Give it up. I think the fans will be happy with the closure of Melanie and, and Derwin, so. Of course. Yeah, they'll be happy. Did Melanie believe him? But what? <laughs> <laughs> I, I can't say anything. You can't no, say yeah, I can't say anything, yeah. <laughs> well, <laughs> no, yeah. Well, but it's, it was a lot of fun. Well, you are in a lot of shows yeah. uh, that are themed around family, mm -hmm. like Instant Mom. Woo! Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, Thanks, guys. and your new cooking show. Now, why is family such an important part of who you are? Uh, family, it's my support system. I really don't know who I would be or where I would be right now if it weren't for my husband, if it weren't for, you know, my sister, my brother, my mom, my dad. I am who I am, you know, because of them. So it's, it's a priority for me. So, yeah, number one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Well, you've been married for seven years now. Yes, I know. Yes. And you have a little son. Yes, yes I do. Yes. yes. There's my there's my husband. Oh, wow, look at that. Beautiful. And family. Corey's an actor too. That's yeah, right. he is. Uh, you guys have really busy careers. Yeah. How do you? People always ask us, how do you? We balance it all. How do you balance it all? Um. Well, I really don't think there's a thing such as balance. <laughs> Exactly no, right yeah. I, I mean, we do our best. Um, I think date nights are really important for yes. Corey and I. Like, once a week, we make sure that we spend, you know, quality time with mm -hmm. each other or whenever. I think you guys would know about this. You know, he's away, like, in Budapest. She was in Budapest for a while shooting a movie called Spectral. And we're never away from each other for more than two weeks. Because I, I just think it's just, it's like, really, that's you guys? Yeah, yeah, see? And how long have you, you guys been married? Ten, Ten years. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's important. I think you really have yes. to make time you for... You make the time. You do. Yes. yes. You have to make time. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Uh, you've got so much going on. You're yeah. even an author. Yes. Which from of a very great book yes. for moms out there. And yeah. then you'll be soon releasing a healthy cookbook yeah. called a Whole New You. Yeah. Tell us about that. Well, I mean... A lot of people, they probably don't know, but I suffered from something called endometriosis, which is an infertility um, disease, and I had two surgeries because of it. I mean, I was, we were trying to have a baby, and my doctor was like, look, if you want to have a baby, and if you don't want to have a third surgery, you're going to have to change your diet. And I was like, like, what? It was the first time I ever, you know, heard about how food can actually be mm, medicine. Be medicine. Um, so I was on this kind of detox. I stayed away from dairy. I stayed away from like um, preservatives, additives, and, and food, and for a year. And I ended up getting pregnant right away. So wow. yeah, and I mm -hmm. and I told my <laughs> I told my doctor when I first got pregnant, and the and and the thing she said was right away. She said it was because of your your diet. So 
I want to help encourage um, other women out there who are, you know, suffering from whether it be endometriosis or any type of, you know, um, disease that, you know, causes inflammation, um, yeah, you know, eczema. Um, I had migraines, and when I was on this detox, all of that went away. So I found that food can really trigger, you know, certain emotions, and so a lot of people, you know, we don't we don't really know about that. And he's so, going to take me home and do an allergy test <laughs> tonight. No, I mean, <laughs> you know, yeah, I yeah, like, <laughs> screaming about something. Yeah, like, like put the pasta down. Yeah. Get the cheese out of here. No, yeah. yeah I'm, I'm such a proponent of of dietary education oh, yeah. and nutrition and I, we always talk about it yeah. all the time yeah. and a lot of people just don't know how it, important it is to figure out what you should put into your mouth oh yeah and especially with kids it's fuel yeah it it's is fuel. it is and your body runs like an engine it does and, and if you with, service it with wrong type yeah. of food aka fuel yeah it yeah. won't run the way, way it would if you feed it some good food. And even with my son, I've noticed that, of course, I mean, we all know that if we give them, like, loads of sugar, I know with my son, I'm like, who are you? Like, you're, like, yes. a completely a different, different person. Yeah. Like, he's off, you know, bouncing off the walls, and then if he's, like, you know, eating, like, healthy, and, you know, of course we'll give him, you know, I guess, you know, uh, cookies every now and then, but it's it's not processed food. And I really see it a makes difference. It does. It makes a huge difference. So, yeah. So I'm really excited about it. Well, <laughs> she's going to hang around after the break because when we return, we're going to see which one of us can make the best summer drinks. Oh, oh gosh. <laughs> yes. <laughs> They're very healthy, though. Yeah. This is going to be good. We'll be right back. Refreshing drink. Well, the Slim Chillers truck is here, Woo! and they're blending up some frozen cocktails. And yeah. these are non-alcoholic because we don't want our audience to get too slashed. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want you to get too slashed either. <laughs> well, hi, Phil. Phil Hurley is here from Slim Chillers with his frozen yes. adult Hello. drinks. Hi, Phil. So tell us a little bit about Slim Chillers. Slim Chillers Blenderfuls is actually a sugar-free, zero-carb, zero-calorie, concentrated deep. cocktail mix. Wow. Uh, the idea is one 12 ounce pouch blended with five cups of ice and typically five shots of your favorite yeah, spirit makes one 52 ounce blender full. But for wow. today's show, we're going to do something a little different. We've never done this before. We're actually going to do a non-alcohol beverage. Uh, still a blended beverage with okay. your choice of a variety of alcohol substitutes, I guess. Okay. Like coconut water and acai berry water and lemongrass yeah. juice. Nice. Okay. I would do probably, two, two I'd probably do two cups, yeah, roughly two cups. Two cups, cups. Of ice. Yep. Okay. Oops, I thought this was a competition. It's not? It's now a competition, apparently. <laughs> oh, see, I, I make everything a competition. <laughs> so, it's so concentrated, how much do I need? For a non-alcohol, we'd actually recommend a half a half, pouch. Okay. Half, okay. And what pouch. flavors do you have for us today? You know, we actually have a pomegranate, I think I have, strawberry I have lemonade, right and yep. a peach mango. Okay. I got and I was going to make some suggestions, lemonade. but quite honestly, I was just going to let you guys have fun with it, and it's either yes. going to taste great or yes. it's not. Okay. So. I love coconut water, so I'm adding coconut water okay. into mine with the pomegranate. I'm going to put some acai blue. Let's test our mixology skills here, baby. What you got? Add a little bit of water. I didn't do, did you do concentrated? Okay, I'm going to do, everybody, I'm gonna I'm gonna do, do peach, so peach mango. That's me. I'm going to follow Tia. She's diluting hers a little bit. Let's see. What else can I add? Maybe a little more ice. It's about half. Yeah, it's about half. Okay, I'll be good. I want mine to be really nice. Which uh, is the best button? You know what? If you go to liquefy, it'll it'll blend it up real nice. Okay, is everybody okay. ready? Yes, let's do this. I'm not ready yet. Uh, we have to you wait guys, for Boris. Okay. Hold on. Come Lots on, of water. Boris. Jeez, Hi, man. Boris. Okay, I'm ready. Okay, ready? Let's do this. One, oh. two, three, <laughs> go. Taster. Okay. Use cups. We'll give her some. We'll pour some and give her some cups. There you go. Which lovely, beautiful guinea pig from the audience wants to come over? I think her right oh, there. Right here. Okay. Yeah, here give her this to try. What's your name? Oops, sorry. Hi. Hi. I'll hold this for you. Thank you. You want to try this? Let's, yeah, sure. I'll try it. Let's try that. Here's one. another one. This is probably going to be the best. Okay. What What's in this one? This is the pomegranate blenderful. And the other one is the mango <laughs> I have lemongrass, I think. Good. Mango lemongrass. Good. Hers okay. is with Mine is pomegranate with, with coconut water and a little okay. bit of water. 
And this was mango and? Mango, yes, and lemongrass and ginger. Oh, interesting. This one is a little spicier. Yeah. Oh, the other one spicy. is more like sweet and Yes, juicy. this is with coconut water. Mm -hmm. I love that they're calorie free and gluten free and carb free. All Sugar free. They're all Absolutely. really good. It just really? needs yeah. a, a little. Well, she's free. taking a second sip out of this wow. one. Wow! I can tell you what. You know, <laughs> you all can make your own margaritas because you're going home. with four eligible bachelors. In a moment, we're gonna find out who she picked. So Pastor Wayne, do you think you helped Jessica find a love connection? I think we filtered LA and narrowed <laughs> it down to four guys. <laughs> and I, I suspect Jessica had some chemistry somewhere. Okay. All right. All right. And, okay, and... Jessica, well, who did you make a connection with? <laughs> uh, so I have decided to go with Keith. Oh. Keith. really easy to talk to and also he was just very engaged in wanting to know a little bit more about me as well great so what it has nice. nothing to do with the fact that he's wearing a, a skin tight uh, no. sweater <laughs> you can basically count no, his abs she his said at the top of the show that she really wished guys in LA were more communicative and, yeah. and forthcoming and Keith had that so yeah. I'm really excited you found someone awesome. what about you Keith what do you think of Jessica what do you she was very easy to talk to, but you just saw and heard the truth. So I didn't, I wasn't mowing over a lot of things in my mind about what she was saying. You weren't trying to interpret stuff. She was a straight, straight It was forward. straightforward, and she yeah. appreciated the questions, and I felt genuine. I am so glad you guys made a connection, and you'll be able to finish your date privately at a restaurant called Rush Street in Culver City. We want to thank uh, Pastor Cheney. Thank Thanks you so, so much, much for having being here. Yeah, thank, yeah. you. Yeah. thank you. So thank you, Jessica. Thank you, gentlemen. Jackson Livingston. <laughs> he was like, that, that right there. <laughs> oh, I didn't so just funny. get jealous, okay? I walked over there and just gave him a huge kiss right in the middle of their conversation. <laughs> you know, that, that reminds me of an article that I came across uh, that said half the world. Oh, this is crazy. Doesn't even like the kiss anymore. Yeah. 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 The, the, I mean, forty-six percent. Do you guys not like to kiss anymore? Oh, no. Kiss, 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 kiss. There you go. Oh, Ooh, look at her. Okay, here at the boys in the we like to kiss. <laughs> <laughs> kiss. Yes, sir. Feeling <laughs> better already. Well, anyway, so they found that that just three of ten European cultures uh, uh, saw kissing as an acceptable form of showing romantic affection. Well, you're from yes. Europe, like, what, you have a little lipstick. What does, uh, what do they do, and do they not kiss in Germany? Well, we, we kiss, um... You're like, hello! No, no, we kiss to say hello. We kiss <laughs> left cheek, right cheek, yeah. to say hello, yes. Right, okay. And, um, yeah, there's, there's a lot of kissing going on in Germany. You know, some ancient cultures, you know, kissing is like 3,500 years old, like, being depicted in paintings and stuff, and there are cultures that say, you know, uh, that by kissing someone, you can inhale their soul. What? Yeah. Yep. Well, different cultures, different customs, but uh, inhale your soul? Yeah. Th that's... I don't know how much of my soul I donated in college then. 
My soul's gone. I'm sorry. <laughs> My soul is out the window. <laughs> You're just a shell of a man. <laughs> I was so sucked dry. <laughs> okay, okay, with the sorry. details. No, I'm sorry. Wait, easy, easy. I, I, I apologize. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, in college, there, there's a story about this girl who blew away $90,000. Have you guys read about this? Of her college money, yeah. Her grandparents left her a trust fund. Yeah, and she blew, Jeez. she's her junior, and she has, uh, she didn't even have the $20,000 tuition balance left. I know. This is what she said. Uh, she called into an Atlanta radio station and she said, quote, um, I have, you know, I just can't get a job because getting a job is embarrassing. What? Yeah. Maybe my parents should have taught me budget or something. They never sat me down and had a real serious talk about it. My parents said there was nothing they could do for me now. And see, they're not being honest with me saying they don't have money because my dad has worked for like a million years. <laughs> and they have a retirement account. I can't even, I can't even. Uh. My parents Let's scraped just, and scrambled and scruffed to get me to college. I love you, Mom and Dad. I really do. You this know what I don't like about this? It's, it's, it's two things. Number one, she's disrespecting her parents and grandparents who are paying for it. It does. It makes a huge difference. So, yeah. So I'm really excited about it. Well, <laughs> she's going to hang around after the break because when we return, we're going to see which one of us can make the best summer drinks. Oh, oh gosh. <laughs> yes. They're very healthy, though. Yeah. This is going to be good. We'll be right back. Refreshing drink. Well, the Slim Chillers truck is here Woo! and they're blending up some frozen cocktails. Yeah. And these are non alcoholic because we don't want our audience to get too slashed. <laughs> I don't want you to get too slashed either. <laughs> well, hi, Phil. Phil Hurley is here from Slim Chillers with his frozen yes. adult Hello. drinks. Hi, Phil. So tell us a little bit about Slim Chillers. Slim Chillers Blenderfuls is actually a sugar free, zero carb, zero calorie, it's concentrated easy. cocktail mix. Wow. Uh, the idea is one 12 ounce pouch blended with five cups of ice and typically five started. shots of your favorite yeah, spirit makes one 52 ounce blender full. But for wow. today's show, we're going to do something a little different. We've never done this before. We're actually going to do a non-alcohol beverage. Uh, still a blended beverage with okay. your choice of a variety of alcohol substitutes, I guess. Okay. Like coconut water and acai berry water and lemongrass yeah. juice. Nice. Okay. I would do probably, two, two I'd probably do two cups. Yeah, roughly two cups. Two cups. Of ice. Yep. Okay. Oops, I sorry. thought this was a competition. It's not? It's now a competition, apparently. <laughs> oh, see, I, I make everything a competition. <laughs> so, it's so concentrated, how much do I need? For a non-alcohol, we'd actually recommend a half a half, pouch. Okay. Half, okay. And what pouch. flavors do you have for us today? You know, we actually have a pomegranate, I think I have, strawberry I have lemonade, right and a peach yep. mango. I got and I'm just going to make some suggestions, lemonade. but quite honestly, I was just going to let you guys have fun with it, and it's either going to yes. taste great or it's yes. not. Okay. So. I love coconut water, so I'm adding coconut water okay. into mine with the pomegranate. I'm going to put some acai blue. Let's test our mixology skills here, baby. What you got? Add a little bit of water. I didn't do. Did you do concentrated? Okay, I'm going to. I'm going to do peach, so far. peach mango. That's me. I'm going to follow peach up. mango. I'm going to follow Tia. She's diluting hers <laughs> a little bit. Let's see what else can I add. It's about half. Yeah, it's about half. Okay, I'll be good. I want mine to be really nice. Which uh, is the best button? You know what? If you go to liquefy, it'll it'll blend it up real nice. Okay, is everybody okay. ready? Yes, let's do this. I'm not ready yet. Uh, we have to you wait guys, for Boris. Okay. Hold on. Come Lots on, of water. Boris. Jeez, Hi, man. Boris. Okay, I'm ready. Okay, ready? Let's do this. One, oh. two, three, go. <laughs> taster your emotions or even physical attraction and uh, while both of you uh, I'm sure know you're attractive and you've uh, uh, been celebrated by the opposite sex um, there are beautiful people out there there's no end to the making of beautiful people you've got to be governed I ask questions like uh, who can tell you no mm -hmm. there's some people that don't respect anyone's opinion and eventually they won't respect yours the final thing is uh, grind you just want to sense a little bit of grind in the individual. Yes. Not just as it relates to finances. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Because you know why I always yeah. say this. 
life is going to happen. Absolutely. You're going to have ups and downs. And is this somebody, you have to look at that person and say, is this somebody who can grind with me? Absolutely. And get in that hustle with me when the you know what hits the fan. <laughs> right, right. Right? Right. Yes. I love yeah, yeah. you on past because well, you were just laying it. it down and telling the truth. I appreciate it. We have a single lady here mm -hmm. in ah. need of Pastor Wayne's matchmaking skills. Please welcome Jessica. Thank you for joining us, Jessica. Thank you for having me. Yes. Hi, nice to see you. So what's your biggest challenge in finding a mate? Um, well, I've kind of found that in LA, guys aren't very forward in person. They can be very forward in maybe a dating app, but in person, I just don't feel like. Hmm. This is the new dilemma. She yeah. said a dating yeah. app. Yeah. So you'll get a whole lot of conversation in a text oh, message, yes. but then you get face to face and there's the communication is yeah. breakdown. I mean, who is to blame but ourselves because we've so degenerated so much that now we don't even know how to have a conversation. With emojis. We're no, like we just <laughs> type it away. <laughs> You know, well, you've pulled together a pool of eligible men. Absolutely. You've also said that you're interested in getting some guidance from of someone of faith yep. and having a spiritual base. Mm -hmm. So let's do this. Let's yep. do it. Yes. Come on out, bachelors. There they are. And what do you do, Keith? I am actually an area superintendent in Los Angeles Unified School District at the tail end of completing my dissertation. Wow, wow. I don't know what that means, but it sounds incredible. <laughs> Sir, what about you? What's your name? I'm Corey Lofgren. Nice to meet you, Corey. And what do you do? I'm a firefighter paramedic. Wow. And you, sir? My name's Andrew, and I'm a graduate from the University of Texas at Austin. Got my engineering degree there. Yeah. All right. There you go. All right, all right. Awesome. What's your name, sir? I'm Rob Thrash. And what do you do, Rob? I work in operations at a ministry in Long Beach. Oh. All, right. Yeah. Thank you, Rob. all right. Okay, well, we've set up an area for you, Jessica, to see which one of these guys we're going to speed date with you a little bit and see which ones you might actually connect and go on a date with. Okay. Corey Lofgren. Nice to meet you, Corey. And what do you do? I'm a firefighter paramedic. Oh. Hey. My name's Andrew, and I'm a graduate from the University of Texas at Austin. Got my engineering degree there. Yeah. All right. There you go. All right. All right. Awesome. What's your name, sir? I'm Rob Thrash. And what do you do, Rob? I work in operations at a ministry in Long Beach. All right. Thank you, Rob. All right. Okay, well, we've set up an area for you, Jessica, to see which one of these guys we're going to speed date with you a little bit and see which ones you might actually connect and go on a date with. Okay. So, Pastor Wayne is going to be helping her every step of the way, and we're going to check in with him later on during the show. Off you go. Have fun, guys. Thank you. We'll be right back with Tia Mori Hardrick. I'm Team Maury Hardrick, and I am up next on the Boris and Nicole Show. Welcome back. Before the break, we sent our bachelorette, Jessica, outside for many dates with four bachelors. Pastor Wayne, how's it going out there? It's going great. Wonderful kickoff. We have four of the most eligible bachelors in Los Angeles, and I think Jessica really knows what she's after. Yes, I do. All right, well, have fun. We'll check back in with them at the end of the show. Our next guest is actress, author, and mom, and she's about to return as Melanie Barnett for the series finale of BET's The Game. Take a look. You had me up in her face asking her for an autograph, looking like a damn fool, yet this whole time you were sleeping with her? See, Mel? Ain't nobody say anything about sleeping with nobody, baby. Jerwin, you look me in the face right now and tell me you didn't sleep with her. No. So I wouldn't do that to you. Whoa. Please, Please welcome, welcome Tia Maury Hardrick! <laughs> Much. Hi! Hi, guys! How are you? <laughs> Congratulations, Welcome. guys. You're this is such amazing. a good actress. Oh, thank you. Can I try? <laughs> <laughs> well, 
you recently posted a picture on Instagram from the set of the season finale of yeah. the game. How did it feel shooting oh this God. last episode? There's Look Poochie. At your, thank you. We had it right here. Look. Oh yeah. Um, wow. it felt great. You know, I ha I. It's been like four years since the last time I kind of you know stepped into that character, yeah. and it was basically like riding a bike. It was just so much fun. It was wow. great. Yeah. And unfortunately, a lot of young folks, and I, I hate it when I was young, people say, yeah, those young folks. And now I'm that person. <laughs> yes. Those young folks with a sense of well, entitlement. This is a young girl that I love, and I really want to talk about her today. Her name's Erica Shank. She's 18 years old. She's a curvy model who's getting thumbs up for her new photo on the cover of Running Magazine. Do we have a picture? Look at her. Beautiful. There you go. Guys, <laughs> right, that's a great picture. That's a beautiful She's picture. showing off gear for women with curvy or frames. She's gotten a lot of positive response because I love the fact that the health industry, that people are taking a stand because the health industry has made it all about weight loss. Yeah, yeah. And really, it's just about quality of life. Yeah. Health. Yes. Yeah. And she's gotten strong. a lot of positive response to the media. I just want to give you a shout out, Erica. Erica, kudos. Yes. Kudos to Erica. Uh, speaking of curvy, uh, Instagram has a lot of people stirred up because um, now they decided to ban or block the use of the hashtag curvy because oh, yeah. Yeah. a lot of users have used it to They've describe... They've completely blocked it or something. You know, those services. Soliciting, Soliciting sexual favors with yeah. the... And there's all these codes on Instagram, but the way they're getting around it is hashtag curvy that lets you know, go to my site. So now... Hashtag call me for sex. <laughs> <laughs> but now people are spelling it differently. Like C U R V E E, like they're just trying to get around it. You somehow. end up blocking everything. There's so much craziness in the world. What can you do? I don't know. But laugh. Let's laugh. <laughs> Let's laugh. <laughs> <laughs> Who can do their best laugh? Let's see your best laugh. My best laugh. You know they say laughing is actually good for you. Like it lowers your I know, blood it's pressure. It's a workout. It's a workout. Let's burn some calories, people. <laughs> 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 No, no fake laughing. Hi, I'm Regina Hall, and I am up next on the Boys and the Cole Show. Please stay tuned. Our first guest has made us laugh for years. You can catch her in the highly anticipated remake, Vacation and in our upcoming film, People, Places, Things. Put your hands together for the talented Miss Regina Hall! for a second because oh, we get, right because we get a bad rap about being manipulative Ooh. we've been talking about this and I wanted to you know bring this out in the open because we you know you we get accused of manipulating you into cooperating with us and getting to our side but 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 <laughs> men have a little bit of sneaky snacks too sneaky snacks Yes. What's a sneaky snack? Because men, this is a real survey. 
Men have the tendency. She has to say real sorry because she'd be making up stuff. <laughs> Don't try. No, 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 no. no. Yeah. Men have a tendency to to just mirror our emotional response. Ooh, that's real sneaky. No. That's called survival technique, okay? <laughs> that's what that is. I can explain that right away. Why? Why do you do that? Like if but, I because we want to skip right to happy life, happy wife. <laughs> So, yeah, uh, yeah, that's right. We don't, we don't want to argue. See, we pick our battles. You want to fight every single one. <laughs> we just want to get to the root of the problem. Yeah, I know, but, but we're not interested in that. We want you to be happy so we can be happy. Well, look. Like, like, like dressing rooms, OK, when we go shopping with you, when you force us to go shopping with you. Yeah. And we're in a dressing room, you come out and you wear a dress that looks like this. And yes. you go, baby, you like this dress? What are we going to say? Yes, of course. I don't care what the dress looks like. <laughs> We're gonna be a, that looks beautiful, babe. Oh my god, that dress is so amazing. Because we want to skip right through, let's get out of this mall, and let's go and have fun, and let's be happy, and happy wife, happy life. That's what we do, so it's survival techniques. It's not that we're trying to be schemey or anything. We know. We can tell when you're making up stuff. No, we on. do. No. Yes, we do. No. Survival <laughs> techniques are inherent. They're in our <laughs> DNA. Right, guys? You know what? My I'm soul's gone. I'm sorry. Let's go. My soul is out the window. <laughs> You're just a shell of a man. <laughs> oh, I was soul sucked dry. <laughs> okay, okay, with sorry. the details. No, I'm sorry. Wait, easy, uh, easy. I, I, I apologize. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, in college, there, there's a story about this girl who blew away ninety thousand dollars. Have you guys read about this? Of her college money. Yeah, her grandparents left her a trust fund. Yeah, and she blew. Jeez. She's her junior. And she has, uh, she doesn't even have the $20,000 tuition balance left. I know. This is what she said. Uh, she called into an Atlanta radio station and she said, quote, um, I have, you know, I just can't get a job because getting a job is embarrassing. What? Yeah. Maybe my parents should have taught me budget or something. They never sat me down and had a real serious talk about it. My parents said there was nothing they could do for me now. And see, they're not being honest with me, saying they don't have money, because my dad has worked for like a million years. <laughs> and they have a retirement account. I can't even, I can't even. Uh, my parents scraped just, and scrambled and scruffed to get me to college. I love you, mom and dad. I really do. You this know what I don't like about funny. this? It's, it's, it's two things. Number one, she's disrespecting her parents and grandparents who are paying for a college tuition. And number two, it's a sense of entitlement that I can't stand. Yeah. And unfortunately, a lot of young folks, and I, I hate it when I was young, people say, yeah, those young folks. And now I'm that person. <laughs> yes. Those young folks with a sense of well, entitlement. This is a young girl that I love, and I really want to talk about her today. Her name's Erica Shank. She's 18 years old. She's a curvy model who's getting thumbs up for her new photo on the cover of Running Magazine. Do we have a picture? Look at her. Beautiful. There you go. Guys, that's a great picture. That's a beautiful She's picture. showing off gear for women with curvier frames. She's gotten a lot of positive response because I love the fact that the health industry, that people are taking a stand because the health industry has made it all about weight loss. Yeah. And really, it's just about quality of life. Yeah. Health. Yes. Yeah. And she's gotten strong. a lot of positive response to the media. I just want to give you a shout out, Erica. Erica, kudos. Yes. Kudos to Erica. Uh, speaking of curvy, uh, Instagram has a lot of people stirred up because um, now they decided to ban or block the use of the hashtag curvy because oh, yeah. Yeah. a lot of users have used it to they describe... They completely blocked it or something. You know, those services. Soliciting, Soliciting sexual favors with yeah. the... And there's all these codes on Instagram, but the way they're getting around it is hashtag curvy that lets you know, go to my site. So now... Hashtag call me for sex. <laughs> <laughs> but now people are spelling it differently. Like C U R V E E, like they're just trying to get around it. You somehow. end up blocking everything. There's so much craziness in the world when we come back. <laughs>
plans after graduation? Well, I thought I was going to do, like, produce, you know, news packages and segments. You oh. thought you were going to be like a news anchor, yeah. like full yeah, on? Yeah, full on. Well, wow. okay, well, we thought we'll uh, put your little uh, journalism uh, <laughs> to a test <laughs> in a game we like to call Tell It Like It Is. All right. <laughs> So you and the call are co-anchors reporting on the news, and as you're watching the action on the monitor, you will both report together, but there's a hook. While you both are reporting, I will read out a card with a specific style that you have to adopt. Oh, okay. okay. While All speaking, right. are you ready? Okay. All right. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> Regina, Okay. you are drunk. <laughs> Nicole, you are from the South. And rolling. Hi, y'all. Welcome to the RNN show in the morning. Hi. There's a breaking story, and I reckon y'all want to hear about it. And I'm fixing to tell you about it. It turns out that a man has found a new species of reptiles. Art, do you want to focus on and, and help me out here with the I'm oh, sorry, I couldn't. Uh, I love. Uh, tiles. My whole kitchen <laughs> is in tiles. No, 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 honey. What I'm saying is that a man has discovered some snakes and some crocodiles and a whole and some oh, iguanas. My. Oh, in the God. tiles? Are they in the tiles? <laughs> no. Yes. Yeah. They're they're reptiles. Oh. 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 <laughs> Great. <laughs> okay, let's move on to the next one. All right. I'm ready. <laughs> All right. Regina, hmm. you are extremely sad. Okay. Nicole, you are extremely happy. Okay. 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 And okay. go. Now let's move on to the weather. It looks like it is so sunny in California. Oh my God. And we are in a change for our forecast. It was wow. great, yeah. <laughs> well, you, you, yeah. you're in a lot of fair, give it up. I think the fans will be happy with the closure of Melanie and, and Derwin, so. Of course. Yeah, they'll be happy. Did Melanie believe him? But what? <laughs> <laughs> I, I can't say anything. You can't no, say yeah, I can't say anything, yeah. <laughs> well, <laughs> no, yeah, well, but it, it was a lot of fun. Well, you are in a lot of shows yeah. uh, that are themed around Family, mm -hmm. like Instant Mom. Woo! Yeah. Thanks, yeah. <laughs> uh, guys. And your new cooking yeah. show. Now, why is family such an important part of who you are? Uh, family, it's my support system. I really don't know who I would be or where I would be right now if it weren't for my husband, if it weren't for, you know, my sister, my brother, my mom, my dad. I am who I am, you know, because of them. So it's, it's a priority for me. So, yeah, number one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, you've been married for seven years now. Yes, I know. Yeah. And you have a little son. Yes, yes seven I do. Years. Yes. And There's my boo boo, my husband. Yes. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. And family. Corey's an actor, too. That's yeah, right. he is. Uh, you guys have really busy careers. Yeah. How do you, people always ask us, how do you, we balance it all? How do you balance it all? Um, well, I really don't think there's a thing such as balance. <laughs> Exactly no, I yeah, I, I mean, we do our best. Um, I think date nights are really important for yes. Corey and I. Like, once a week, we make sure that we spend, you know, quality time with mm -hmm. each other or whenever. I think you guys would know about this. You know, he's away, like, in Budapest. She was in Budapest for a while shooting a movie called Spectral. And we're never away from each other for more than two weeks. Because I, I just think it's just it's like... Really? That's you guys? Yeah. yeah. See, and how long have you, you guys been married? Ten years. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. It's important. I think you really have yes. to make time you for. You make the time. You do. Yes. yes. You have to make time. Absolutely. <laughs> okay. You've got so much going on. You're yeah. even an author. Yes. Which from of a very great book yes. for moms out there. And yeah. then you'll be soon releasing a healthy cookbook yeah. called A Whole New You. Yeah. Tell us about that. Well, I mean. A lot of people, they probably don't know, but I suffered from something called endometriosis, which is an infertility um, disease. And 
I had two surgeries because of it. I mean, I was we were trying to have a baby, and my doctor was like, look, if you want to have a baby, and if you don't want to have a third surgery, you're going to have to change your diet. And I was like, like, what? It was the first time I ever, you know, heard about how food can actually be mm, medicine. Be medicine. Um, so I was on this kind of detox. I stayed away from dairy. I stayed away from, like, um, preservatives, additives, and, and food. And for a year, and I ended up getting pregnant right away. So wow. yeah, and I mm -hmm. and I told my <laughs> I told my doctor. The body runs like an engine. It does. And, and if you with, service it with wrong type yeah. of food, aka fuel, yeah. it yeah. won't run the way Wait, it would we, if you feed it some good food. And even with my son, I've noticed that, of course. I mean, we all know that if we give them like loads of sugar, I know with my son, I'm like, who are you? Like, you're like yes. a completely different, different person. Yeah. Like, he's off, you know, bouncing off the walls, and then if he's like, you know, eating like healthy, and you know, of course we'll give him, you know, I guess, you know, uh, cookies every now and then, but it's it's not processed food. And I really see a, it makes a difference. It does, it makes a huge difference. So, yeah, so I'm really excited about it. Well, <laughs> Tia's going to hang around after the break, because when we return, we're going to see which one of us can make the best summer drinks. Oh, oh gosh. Yes. <laughs> They're very healthy, though. Yeah. This is going to be good. We'll be right back. Refreshing drink. Well, the Slim Chillers truck is here Woo! and they're blending up some frozen cocktails. And yeah. these are non alcoholic because we don't want our audience to get too slashed. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want you to get too slashed either. <laughs> well, hi, Phil. Phil Hurley is here from Slim Chillers with his frozen yes. adult Hello. drinks. Hi, Phil. So tell us a little bit about Slim Chillers. Slim Chillers Blenderfuls is actually a sugar free, zero carb, zero calorie, That's concentrated deep. cocktail mix. Wow. Uh, the idea is one 12 ounce pouch blended with five cups of ice and typically five started. shots of your favorite yeah, spirit makes one 52 ounce blender full. But for wow. today's show, we're going to do something a little different. We've never done this before. We're actually going to do a non-alcohol beverage. Uh, still a blended beverage with okay. your choice of a variety of alcohol substitutes, I guess. Okay. Like coconut water and acai berry water and lemongrass yep. juice. Nice. Okay. I would do probably, two, two I'd probably do two cups. Yeah, roughly two cups. Two cups. Of ice. Yep. Okay. Oops, I sorry. thought this was a competition. It's not? It's now a competition, <laughs> apparently. Oh, see, I, I make everything a competition. <laughs> so, it's so concentrated. How much do I need? For a non-alcohol, we'd actually recommend a half a half, pouch. Half, okay. Half and what pouch. flavors do you have for us today? You know, we actually have a pomegranate, I think I have, strawberry I have lemonade, right and yep. a peach mango. Okay. I got and I was going to make some suggestions, lemonade. but quite honestly, I was just going to let you guys have fun with it, and it's either yes. going to taste great or it's yes. not. Okay. So. I love coconut water, so I'm adding coconut water okay. into mine with the pomegranate. I'm going to put some acai blue. Let's test our mixology skills here, baby. What you got? Add a little bit of water. I didn't want to do. Did you do concentrated? Okay, I'm going to. I'm going to do peach so far. Peach mango. That's me. I'm going to follow. Peach up. mango. I'm going to follow Tia. She's diluting <laughs> hers a little bit. Let's see what else can I add. Maybe a little more ice. It's about half. Okay, I'll be good. 